Oh no, friends, this is Calabrios. You know, and this is your boxing authority, by the way. Think about it, this is trainer Joel Gosin. He thinks WBA, WBC, Jordan Medway, champion Sal Canelo Alvarez, you know, would have to dramatically improve his conditioning for him to have a chance to beat undefeated Floyd Mayweather Jr. on September the 14th. Now, Gosin thinks Canelo got down against uh, Shane Mosley and Austin Trout. And this is going to have to work on his conditioning big time to defeat Mayweather. Now, Gunson also thinks, though, that Canelo has to change his game plan for the fight and uh, look to fight a lot harder and throw more punches to pressure Mayweather. Uh, Gunson notes that Canelo's work rate wasn't high enough for his uh, fight with Trout, and he backed off from the feet, fighting with his hands down after getting nailed by a big shot by Trout. Gunson had these to say, quote, you know, if Canelo trains better than he did for the Trout fight or the Mosley fight and puts uh, some more action into his game, you know, because if he fights at that type of pace against Mayweather, it's not going to be pretty. But if he steps up the pace and double times it and puts on a um, Koto type of pressure, you know, it might be interesting. Now, it may not be possible for Canelo to up his game to the level that Koto was fighting Mayweather last year. Because Canelo has never been able to uh, fight at a pace similar to that the uh, small Koto has done in the past. Now... Koto gassed out after uh, eight rounds with a pace that he put on Mayweather. I don't think it's possible for the bigger Canelo to fight at a pace even remotely as busy as the one Koto put on last year. Now if Canelo could do that, he might uh, make it difficult for Mayweather because Canelo will likely outweigh Mayweather by 20 pounds when they face each other. Uh, we're talking about a guy that's bigger than WBA middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin. Recently started his training camp for the fight with uh, Matthew Macklin weighing uh, 168. And Golovkin's a middleweight. Now, Canelo Jr. middleweight weighed uh, 172 for his last fight. I mean, it's possible for Canelo to fight at a uh, fast pace without guessing after four rounds. You know, he's just one of those uh, guys that needs to fight at a slow pace because if he fights hard for more than five rounds, and on the bread face, grasping for breath and, uh, you know, taking shots. Um, also, if Canelo goes after Mayweather by throwing lots of punches, it's going to give Mayweather tons of opportunities to land his counter punches. You know, Canelo will be eaten alive by Mayweather, especially when he starts getting gassed out by the 4th or 5th rounds if he's fighting hard. And the funny thing about Canelo is he gassed out after the 4th round against Austin Trout. Even though he's throwing almost no punches, he still gassed out and judges giving him rounds. Not Trout running that fight 9 rounds to 3. It was an easy fight for him over a young, tired guy.